Hey boys and girls, Mr. Tim here, and happy Easter. Now Easter is a very special day, and we get to celebrate Jesus defeating sin and death. Now I know there's been a lot of news here lately about death because of the coronavirus, but today we get to celebrate, because Jesus' power means that we don't have to fear death. So if you get your Bibles, you can follow along with me in Matthew chapter 27, verse 32, through chapter 28, through verse 20. And so here we see Jesus, the only Son of God, had been arrested and sentenced to die. Jesus, who didn't do anything wrong, was willing to die on a cross because he knew it was the only way people could be forgiven of their sins. So when Jesus died, he took the punishment for the wrong things that I do and the wrong things that you do because he loves you. When Jesus died, his friends and family were sad. All their hope was gone. Jesus was dead. One of Jesus' friends asked if he could take the body and put it into a new tomb he had. And the tomb was like a cave. So his friends took his body, wrapped it in cloth, and placed it in the tomb. Jesus was dead, and it was all over. The guards took a stone and rolled it in front of the door and sealed up the tomb. But three days later, a few of Jesus' friends had went to prepare Jesus' body for burial. But as they got there, suddenly an angel appeared and said, Do not be afraid. You've come looking for Jesus, who had been crucified. But he is not here. He is risen from the dead, just like he said he would. Come and see where the body is laid. They went and they looked, and guess what? Jesus' tomb was empty. He had come back to life and left the tomb. Because Jesus died, he defeated sin. Because Jesus came back to life, he defeated death. And so when you believe in Jesus, then you can live with him forever in heaven. Because Jesus' power means we don't have to fear death. Okay, so now we're gonna do an experiment to illustrate the crucifixion of Jesus. I have a tea bag here. I'm gonna look at each individual part. The first part is the label. The label identifies what type of tea that we have. Now Jesus had many labels. He was known as the carpenter, the messiah, teacher, the king of kings, and even given the label king of the Jews on the cross. Now, Jesus wasn't concerned with any labels because he was 100% man and 100% God. And so he took on the role of a servant. The next thing is the string. The string represents people attached to stuff here on earth, such as sports, friends, activities and joy. Now, Jesus experienced temptations in the same way that we experience temptations. But Jesus wasn't attached to those things. He was here to do God's will, and he came to earth for a purpose. The next thing is the staple. The staple is really teeny tiny, but it pierces a hole in the bag. But Jesus was pierced in the same way, but not with a staple, but with nails that held him to the cross. As we look at the tea inside the bag, we dump it out, we see that it looks like dirt. And this dirtiness here is the sins that were in our lives, that were crowding up our hearts. But when Jesus died on the cross, he dumped that all out and made us look pure and proud to stand in the sight of God. And so the scripture says that we become a light. And when we become a light, we start to shine for Jesus and draw closer to him. And in the same way that Jesus died and rose from the grave, we're going to rise in the same way to be with him. Jesus is alive. What great news is this? Because of Jesus, we all have a chance to live with him forever in heaven. Because Jesus' power means you don't have to fear death. Now, I want you to think of someone that needs to hear this good news. And as we pray, say their name. So pray with me. Dear Jesus, thank you for dying and coming back to life. Jesus, please help me share the good news of Easter with this person on my mind. Jesus, we thank you and we give you all the praise. We love you. Amen. Now, it's, my, it's a, our time to write in my thankful journal. So get your journals out. And I want to let you know, I am very thankful for Jesus being alive today and forever. Because Jesus' power means we don't have to fear death. So now, this week, I want you to draw a picture that reminds you and helps you think of Easter. And put today's date on it. We also have a memory verse. And I want you to memorize this all together. 
Luke 24, verse 7. It says, The Son of Man must be delivered over to the hands of sinners, be crucified, and on the third day be raised again. Okay, one last thing. We have some discussion questions after this video. We want you to spend some time really discussing these with your family. Take the time to really talk about these. Okay, thank you for joining us, and we look forward to you joining us at our 1030 service. And remember that Jesus' power means we don't have to fear death. Happy Easter.